हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम त्रिलोचन आई होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज ए माइक्रो सर्विस आर्किटेक्चर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड व्हाट इज ए माइक्रो सर्विस आर्किटेक्चर बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस माइक्रो सर्विस आर्किटेक्चर let me make you understand what is monolithic architecture so i will not tell you any theoretical definition to understand the uh, monolithic architecture let's uh, discuss on one example on room booking system in room booking system we usually have three room uh, three services the first one is room availability services and car services and payment services but these three services are tightly coupled in mono monolithic architecture and that is and these three services deployed in a single instance okay so single instance this this, this is a single instance and you can have your data structure or database in a different instance that is two uh, two tier application you can say okay but in two tier application also you have the database within this instance this is how the monolithic architecture works and it can be scalable like suppose this is the first instance right so you can make a same structure with the second instance and third instance and that can be work behind the load balancer and it it can be easily deployed and scalable the monolithic architecture okay but everyone everything has a pros and cons so monolithic has a some drawbacks so let's discuss the drawbacks of monolithic in monolithic the first drawback is large and complex why it is large and complex because it it is in a single instance and all the services are in a single instance so that's why it's a large and complex code base suppose any new developer came into your organization you have to make him understand how the code and how the different services are working and these codes are huge and your id also id if if you consider id that is also not uh, enough capacity to load is a large uh, application so in that way this is another disadvantages of the monolithic architecture and so so that's why it uh, makes uh, your organization the development process is very slow this is one the first the second if you discuss okay the second one is block continuous deployment what it means the so block continuous deploy deployment means you cannot deploy your application in a uh, continuous manner because you have to uh, down your production environment for some times and after that you will deploy your application in your production environment okay the so continuous de deployment will not happen because the all the services are tightly coupled if you make any changes in payment service or car service you have to uh, change whole the application in a single instance so after that you can uh, you can what you can host your application or you can release your application in production environment okay so in third one is if you discuss this is on scalable so but i told you it can be scalable through load balancer yes it can be done but the disadvantage this is the drawback is if you have the multiple services the the first service might have might need more memory okay the second one is might need more cpu intensive so we cannot scale with the service wise so this is the another disadvantage or you can say drawbacks of monolithic architecture this is on scalable and third one oh sorry fourth one is on reliable okay on reliable means on reliable means 
the single application in a single application the multiple services are there okay in if the car service is not working then you have to fix all whole application and redeploy and re rebuild to your uh, application in a, that instance but so this is why this is why you say run uh, on reliable okay the fifth one if you consider the fifth one is inflexible already i told you like this is a single uh, this is in a single instance, so that's why you have to write the application in a single technology stack, right? So in technology stack, you cannot choose multiple languages or multiple technology to uh, make one application. So that's why it is inflexible. Okay, so these are the drawbacks of monolithic architecture. So that's why we need microservice architecture to handle like large complex and these are the drawbacks we can overcome in microservice architecture. In microservice architecture, all the services are loosely coupled and independent. Okay, so if we consider the same example room booking systems, the first microservice is rooms and availability and second one is card microservices and uh, third one is payment microservice. Right, in this, this, this uh, application can communicate through the API here uh, API API so these API, these microservices can be independent and they can communicate with the, the client through the UI microservice and those microservices can communicate through the API so all the application has independent core base and this is less complex as compared to the monolithic because all the, all the services are in single instance and that's why that's, uh, these applications are large and complex but in the mi microservice architecture it is less complex in your organization one group of developer can handle this service and the second uh, group of developer can handle another services okay so it can be a continuous deployment right so suppose if in uh, any changes needed for the first service so your group of first group of develop, developer can deploy the same service in their instance. Okay, the data structure also independent. Like this service has a, their own database, and this service has a, their own database. So it can be independently deployed. Okay. So the third one is uh, unreliable or unscalable. In uh, that 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 was the disadvantages of the monolithic, but. It can be scalable in easy way in microservice architecture. Like scalable means we can make it more. Uh, suppose it's a need more memory. Okay, so we can accordingly we can scale this particular service or particular microservice. So let's discuss the another uh, feature of this advantages of the microservice architecture is it is reliable because. If you have any problem in the first one or second one and third one uh, or if you found any issue, suppose this one is down, then these two services will work fine without any uh, problem. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much.